Okay, so let's show you a flow hive real quick. I have all my junk out here. Anyway, this is what it looks like now. I did uh, a couple coats of that uh, stain, Olympic stain and protectant in cedar, and then some polyurethane. It's water, both of them are water based, oil formulated, whatever. But anyway, this is how I have it set up. It came out looking okay. Ignore the painter, I'm not a painter. Now, I did put plastic frames in the bottom for the brood box, the flow hive ones up here, and bees have already been coming in trying to steal the wax out of the plastic frames. Um, and then here is what I'm doing with the uh, other frames that came with it. Um, I put them all together, I used my staple gun, it's a $5 staple gun I got with a coupon at Harbor Freight. And actually, it worked pretty good, as you can see here. I glued them and then stapled them. A whole lot easier than using the nails. I'm going to do five open, and I'll put the boards in and let the bees have at them and see how they do there. And then the others, my mom had a whole mess of these... Uh, just one second. Ah, don't want to pull that out. But anyway, a whole mess of sheets of this stuff for her arts and craft so it's plastic i figured what the heck i'm gonna give it a shot and uh, what i'll do is i'll coat it with wax i just cut it to link to the size and you can see it leaves a gap on this side and a gap on that side and i just kind of eyeballed the space put glue down in the bottom down here and or i mean in the top of it turn them over so it'll set so they'll stay in and they'll be a little bit more firm i'm gonna leave the bottom open if they don't work out then i can just pull them out pretty easy and uh, so that's pretty much how it goes there. Not doing too much with that. And on the air compressor, to get it to work properly, I have it set at approximately 60 to 65 PSI. And it seemed to do a pretty good job. There's a couple that stuck out just a smidge, but not too bad. And my other Harbor Freight, big huge hammer here, as you can see. My hand isn't very big. This hammer's tiny. I got it so I can put it in my vest when I'm working to drive stakes in if I need to or drive them back in. And uh, so that's about it as far as that goes. I guess the next step I'm going to be doing is putting these little boards in the tops of these other five. But I might hold off on that one for right now. Uh, going to put some of these in with the plastic frame, see how they can stick to them if they take them great. I might just go ahead and do them all that way. But I think, now nah, I think I'm going to leave these that way if I want some honeycomb. I can just go and cut it out and take honeycomb. These are going to be in the second brood box, not the, the bottom one. So it, it'll be kind of, if they make honeycomb and I want to take some of the honeycomb, I can, but I'm going to leave at least one brood box for them to do their brooding and also the next one would be for their food so when they have the dearth or darth or whatever they call that thing where the bees could starve out and you have to feed them constantly they'll have plenty of honey they'll have one whole brood box just for themselves and i'm just starting off with one i'm not going to do two at this time um just want to start off with one see how that works out uh, if the bees, if I lose half the bees for swarm every year, that's fine. We live out in the country here, and there's citrus all around, and uh, about two, three miles over there, there's the the foothills with oak trees and stuff like that. So I figured, eh, I might want to start trying to put some honeybees back out into the wild here. If we had a place a little closer to the foothills, I would probably be doing that. And the other little project I have going on besides the Flow Hive is right now I'm waiting for Home Depot to give me a call and say that the other step deal is in. But I got one of these for my mom. Gonna I put it together, gonna be putting it up. So she'll hopefully won't fall no more. And if she does, it's not gonna be that far off the ground. And then here's our little babies. These are the uh, silky Cochin, Silky Americana Cross. I think they're going to end up looking like frizzles. And they're loving that free bread. 
it's all moldy and stuff, so I just give it to them and they clean up what they want. And these here are the babies. We have five more uh, little babies inside my mom's trailer that uh, she's kind of taking care of now. She enjoys seeing them and talking to them. So, And one other thing here real quick. I really got to get off my butt and start cleaning up around here and taking care of my plants. But this here is another lily, one of the big yellow lilies. Really pretty. All the chickens keep getting into my flowers and trying to dig them all up so my plants aren't looking all that great anymore and we do have one of the chickens in here she probably laid an egg that's an americana right there she's a little grumpy and there's another one right there they know they're not supposed to be in my plants huh so anyway you guys uh, if you like the video subscribe and like and do all that good fun stuff and keep keep checking back and i'll be trying to do a few more videos this is just on my phone i'll be doing more videos probably on my other camera but it's still not a very good one it's only a sony cyber shot i think or something like that anyway we'll talk to you guys later have a great weekend